Down in the drunk tank, yeah, had it. So my name is Mike Waldron, and um, I'm not actually Frank Pope. Frank Pope is a, a pseudonym, a nom de guerre, because I uh, I wanted actually to produce a platform to play my own songs, and I was far too shy to do it under my own name. So I decided that Frank Pope and the Holy Smoke would be the way to go. I always like the sound of a band that has and the in it, and uh, it came from Frank Pope, because when the Pope, Pope Francis, was elected Pope, it just occurred to me that my father's Domino's partner was called Frank Pope. And I think, yeah, it's quite interesting the fact that this guy finally made it to the Vatican, particularly as he smoked 40 wood pints a day back in 1958. <laughs> Through to the dawn from after dark. Okay, so the album is called Music for the Trunks in the Apricot House, and it's due for release at the very, very end of September. The reason for the name is that because uh, a number of years ago I got trapped in Finland by an ice cloud, ash cloud that came up from a, a volcano, and we thought that actually none of us would ever escape from Finland again, because most of the planes had stopped flying. I was taken in by some friends of mine who lived in a beautiful clapboard, apricot-coloured house. We spent a lot of time getting drunk, drinking vodka, playing music to each other, and from that I got inspired to write songs, but also I got the confidence to record some of my songs. So this is my first solo project based upon songs that I began to write around that time and that I, I've been writing throughout this process. And the album was uh, recorded, mixed and mastered uh, by the excellent Jack Marshall down at uh, Hollow Floor Studios. And uh, I think it's a great privilege to be able to sit by a canal bank and listen to the birds tweet and actually record a piece of music. So one favourite song of mine is called The Needle Exchange, it was actually the second song we recorded. Um, and it is about somebody I knew a long time ago in a northern city and she did uh, run a charitable project exchanging needles for those who were heroin users and she did go off the tracks and she did get high on her own supply and she did get into trouble. Uh, and she did find her way back again and, and is a much stronger person for that and this, the song is dedicated to her. Uh, and then we've got a song um, accompanied by Fools which is very much inspired by uh, but despite the fact that it might have some of the imagery of Americana, it's inspired by some of the darker tales that inhabit the English countryside. Said I'm looking for a girl out of Santa Clementine Haircut like an elf boy with hide and Yes, this book actually has been a, an inspiration. I've had it for a very long time. It's a story of, uh, of myths and legends that inhabit the English countryside and it tells it tells sometimes true, sometimes mythical stories of romance, of magic, of dark gothic doings. So in terms of what's next, um, actually getting this album uh, under our belt and having a, a platform to tell these stories has, has really started in me a habit of writing songs which I wasn't in before and I actually just jumped off a just jumped off a plane ran down the steps of that plane with a napkin on which is written a song which hopefully will be on the next album and I'm, I'm hoping that I get to work with the same crack bunch of musicians that I've worked on worked with on this album and that we we do something that's actually very different but in uh, in terms of its inspiration has a lot of parallels